What I offer here is a, a full paediatric gastroenterology service and we have many different members of the team ranging from feeding therapists to dietitians to all the nurses and the pharmacists and everything that you would expect. It's a standalone paediatric hospital and my particular area of interest is all things to do with paediatric gastroenterology but specifically areas where we can push the boundaries in terms of minimally invasive procedures and so forth. Well it's really important that when people come through the door they're actually very relaxed and they have no fear, especially the children. We try to uh, give people as much information as possible beforehand so that everything is clear. But then of course we'll have the consultation and try to reassure and explain as we go along. So a typical patient journey would start here in the consulting room and we would have however long we need to talk about the problems, talk about how we might move forward, examine uh, the situation and do an examination. We then move forward to, uh, to think about the possibilities of, in terms of diagnosis and how we would arrive at those and that might involve an x-ray or an ultrasound or an endoscopy, blood tests and these sorts of issues. But also it's very important to involve the child and the parent in those decisions and how to move forward. If we decide that we need to do anything more invasive like an endoscopy under a short light anaesthetic, then we'd again go through that in detail before uh, arriving at the decision. Everyone has to be comfortable with it. If that were to happen, then we would make a date that's convenient for the patients, uh, the parents and the children alike. And generally speaking, uh, if we were going to do an endoscopy, we'd try to do blood tests and that sort of thing at the same time, sparing the child from any significant um, discomfort. If we don't do the endoscopy, blood tests can happen with uh, some cream that we put on the children's hands to numb the area. And again, making it as nice an experience as you can possibly hope. Endoscopy would usually be as a day case. Uh, if it were to involve colonoscopy, we wouldn't have to administer some bowel preparation, which is two medicines taken the day before. And that helps just to clear everything. We would then move to the hospital environment and you'd meet the play therapist to help the younger children understand exactly what's going to happen. You'd meet all the nurses, who are very nice, and then the anaesthetist, uh, who's uh, exceptional and uh, a very, um, very safe, gifted uh, paediatric anaesthetist. We then uh, would move down to the theatre area and the children would be accompanied by the parents at all times until they fell asleep and then also when they woke up. So from the children's point of view, the parents are not, have not gone anywhere. And from the children's point of view, it takes a split second. Once the child is woken up um, in the recovery area, um, it's all paediatrically friendly, they would move back to the day case unit um, specially designed in, in the Portland Hospital uh, to make it as, as friendly for the children as possible. And once they're feeling better and they've had something to eat and drink and everyone's happy, then they can go home. I usually review, review the situation with them in the outpatient clinic the, the following week when I have all the results. Sometimes I can tell the patients and the parents exactly what's happening there and then, but more often than not, they'll have to wait for the test to come back, which usually has a turnaround of about a week or so. Some parents would like the child to come back, some would like just to come back and discuss the results with me and uh, either way is, is, uh, is perfectly fine by me but we like to try and keep the children as informed as possible. We strive for um, children to be happy and uh, um, to be content and relaxed throughout the whole process. That's very important and because a happy child equals a happy family and um, everyone has to understand uh, that uh, my focus is on the child's health and everything else is secondary. But of course we have to realise that children do come within families and therefore once you've had the experience here we'd hope that everybody in the family is, is happy with the way forward.